I haven't washed my beard in like three days. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a taste testing video. We got a bunch of British snacks. Snacks, foods, candies. We got British stuff mm -hmm. that we're gonna try today for the first time. We got a lot. We got a mixture of crisps, candies, chocolates, and then um, we're gonna end it off with something that uh, we're kind of scared to try, to yep. be honest. Yeah. I don't think I want to. The name, the name does it, you know? I feel like if it was named anything else, I'd be like, oh, that's probably gonna be like really good. Mm -hmm. But uh, the finale of today's taste testing video, we're going to try Spotted Dick for the first time. We got two of them. We got a microwave behind us. We're gonna I heat them up. we just need to heat one up. Heat one up? And then just split it. So that way we don't waste them. Mm -hmm. Just in case we don't like it. True. So yeah, we're gonna try some Spotted Dick today. <laughs> I just can't. With the creamy stuff on top too, so. But I'm first, to retire. first, beverage. Gotta have a beverage. So today we got some quick milk, magic sipper, strawberry flavored. I love strawberry milk. Yeah, it's like little straws. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Lay straw in glass of cold milk. Sip through straw and enjoy. So yeah, literally, okay. What so let's it? get some milk. The ones I've had, they're like, you can eat the straw, you know? Yeah, you're thinking of like the Fruit Loops thing. Yeah, like you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> you literally just put these <clears throat> strawberry things in the milk and then you just suck. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That is really good. That is fire. That's some of the best strawberry milk I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Do they melt or like disintegrate? Dude, that is I good. I would say so. That's better than like strawberry syrup in mm -hmm. it. Wow. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Oh, Easy. for sure. Yeah. Okay. So there's the beverage. Gotta have something to wash all this stuff down with. I'm actually really impressed by those. I did not expect it to I think to they taste. do disintegrate. Yeah, I think they, yeah. All right, chill out. Dang, you're gonna drink all of it, woman. I feel like we should get candy out of the way. Candy? So mm -hmm. you wanna do these? Yes. All right, so these right here, candy kittens, sour watermelon. This is from Gourmet Sweets in London. Mm. Or I guess they're just gourmet sweets made in London. This is a vegan recipe too. Oh. oh. Look at little kitty. It's a little bobo. Oh. A little bobo. All right, here we go. Yeah. It's not super sour. Mm -mm. It's good though. I can get behind that. Uh huh. Yeah, those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just solid eight and a half. Eight and a half. I was gonna go eight. I mean, it's a it's a sour candy. You but know, it's, it's not too sour. Yeah. That's what I like about it the most. No, I can't. I just mm. want to drink all of this. I could drink that all, just the entire video. I may have to get. You might have to get another straw. Yep. Done. You want to do this? <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I think we have two kinds of these. Yeah. We do. Okay. Fun dip or fun dip? That's what it's called over here. One of my favorite candies ever. These right here by Swizzles. Sherbet, Sherbet. Sherbert. Sherbert, yes. Sherbert. Sher <laughs> Sherbert dip. We got Sherbert dip minions. So we got fizzy orange, sour apple, and tangy berry. And then this one. Looks like an OG. Uh, yeah, like a double dip. Mm -hmm. Orange and cherry. Oh, dang. Sticks broke. We got the Swizzle stick. Get a little lick going. Oh, rip. I know, got some orange. There, there you go. go. Dang, you got a good one. All right, orange and cherry. That's it right there. The stick is even really good. The stick is good. That's Loki always been my favorite part about fun dip. That's cherry. Sour. A little bit. But the stick has always been like the best part, Loki. Oh, this apple one is good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let me get some. Ooh. That's good. Mm. Loki, if I could just get a pack of just the the sticks, I'd be happy. Pretty good. I'm gonna go like seven. You know, it's it's fun dip. Like just a bunch of sugar. It's it's really like all the same thing anyway. I'm really so. gonna go like five. Five. Yeah. yeah. Galaxy Ripple. Never seen this before mm -hmm. in my life. Is it gonna be Ripley like that? I don't like know, that? but I hope it looks like that. Me too. Oh. Not this, this is still gonna be good though. Oh, it does. Look. What the heck? It's Ripley on the inside. That's cute. Yeah. Galaxy Ripples. Dude. Whenever you bite into it, it's like. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah, it crumbles. <laughs> yeah. That's some good chocolate, though. Mm -hmm. I expected there to be something in the inside. Uh huh. But it's just straight up chocolate. I'm a mess. It's all over me now. Ooh. That might be the move. <laughs> chocolate ripple and strawberry milk wash it down. Or just some plain old chocolate. That was pretty solid. Like, it's like an 8 out of 10. It was good chocolate, but I'm going like 6. 6? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to last you the whole video. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. All right. Let's do some, let's do some chips. Let's okay. mix it up. Walker's Max Pepperoni Feast. I don't even like pepperoni pizza. I do. But it's also in collab with Pizza, with pizza Hut. So. I like to eat um, pepperoni straight out of the package. Yeah. I like it when I take a piece of pepperoni pizza and I take the pepperonis off. And I eat them. And then it has like the grease from the pepperonis on the pizza. That's good. But I can't eat the just the whole pepperoni. I don't know why. I can. 
Those are gonna be so good. These are gonna be good. <laughs> gonna be so just good. just off the smell test alone. Hold on now. Cheers. Yeah. Tastes exactly like how you want your pizza. Yeah, to taste. literally. Mm. I can get behind that. Mm -hmm. Done. We tried a couple like pizza flavored chips, and these are the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are really good. Like, I'm thinking nine. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go like eight. Y'all literally have some like the best crisp flavors. They do. Like I'm jealous. I wish we had like half of what they have. Since you're saying that, you wanna try these ones. <laughs> I might have spoke too soon. <laughs> These right here, the real McCoy's Epic Eats Chip Shop Curry Sauce. What's a curry? I know I've asked that before, but I don't really remember. What curry it is it's it's a type of food. It's like it. I think it's an Indian food. Yeah, they're minis. I didn't realize they were minis. Sorry. It's an Indian food that's like really popular in the UK. Oh, okay. That's like we eat a lot of Mexican food. Right. They eat a lot of Indian food. Ah. But like it's almost like combined. I think. Okay. So this is Chip Shop Curry Sauce. Ooh. 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 It's gonna have some kick to yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know about these. I mean, it doesn't smell bad though. No, it's just, it's gonna be a little hot at the end, I think. Really? They have a banging barbecue. I don't know, I'm speaking our language. <laughs> so look, forget what the name of them is, all okay. right? Completely forget that it's whatever, whatever, chippy, shippy, chop, shooey, that, all right? Okay. It's just a chip. All right. Rated on its flavor. I tried. I tried to make you better. I swear I did. Oh, you don't like it? Oh. Yeah, that's spicy. Oh, it got a little kick. I don't, li I don't like the main flavor of it. I love it. Are you serious? I love this. Really? I don't even like spicy things. It's kind of sweet, mm -hmm. but then it has a little bit of kick at the end. I don't know. You know what the main flavor is though? Hmm. Ramen noodles. Chicken ramen That's noodles. That's what it is. Yeah, it does taste like it. Uh -huh. Chicken ramen noodles with a little bit of kick. Mm -hmm. You did you did better than I was expecting, McCoy's. Thought you were talking to me. Oh, you, you did good too. Good good Thanks. taste test. Good job. I'm handling the heat pretty well. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go like five. Like I would eat them if like they were the last chips in the house. You know. Really? Yeah, I don't like them that much. I don't like Seven the. Seven and a half. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, for some reason I don't like the chicken flavor or like just whatever that is. Just whatever that main flavor is, I'm not digging it. I'm here for it. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one right here. We've talked about this on the Twitch streams before. Apparently, this is really good. Nest Nestle mm -hmm. Milky Bar Gold. Nestle Never Milky Bar Gold. Apparently, these are like top tier. We did a tier tier ranking. I think it's just what? white chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> caramel flavored white chocolate. You can smell it. You can smell it. Oh my goodness. That smells like the caramel like Dairy Queen uses on their Sundays. I was gonna Sundays. say, that's like top tier. Yeah, like that's like high, the top shelf caramel, you know? Mm -hmm. Milky Bar, gold, caramel flavored white chocolate. That, in the freezer, top tier. Dude. I don't even like white chocolate. I know, like, I thought it was just gonna be like, just straight caramel flavor, mm -hmm. but you can taste the white chocolate oh, with can. it. Like, you can taste some caramel, taste some white chocolate. I thought it was just, the caramel was gonna overpower. That is so good. That is really good. That is really, really good. Like, I'm talking nine. <clears throat> yeah. Nine. Like, I agree yeah. with that. Dude, Milky Bar. That is so good. Yeah. Well, I feel like you should now compare it to this one. To that one? Mm -hmm. All right. Dude, that was impressive. I'm impressed. Arrow Caramel Milks. I'm excited. I'm we see that brand a lot. Yeah, we have this brand here. We've just never had them. Oh. Look at them. They're little minis. Oh, little babies. Oh, you right. can smell the caramel in these too. Oh, yeah. All right. Not as strong mm -hmm. as the other, but you can smell it for sure. Feel the bubbles melt. I don't like that. Huh? Okay. Should I bite it half? No, just go full in. Oh, my God. It melts so fast. Yeah, I'm about to say I don't feel nothing. Should have bit it in half. It's good, though. Mm-hmm. I want to taste how much caramel. Where the bubbles are? Mm hmm Put the bubbles on your tongue. I kind of feel it. A little bit. And they're like, take those and put them directly to your tongue real fast. Oh! Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah, I felt that. Oh. That's weird. You can like feel the air escaping. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're good though. They I don't good. taste that much caramel. It's like a hint. Yeah, it tastes like more milk chocolate than anything. Right. I think I like the Milky Bar better. Yeah, that's definitely sure. better. But this is pretty good. I'd say that one's about a seven and a half. I was going to go six. Really? Yeah. I, I want more of a caramel flavor. Uh, they, it's not super strong. We have yet to have like a really bad one, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Like everything's just kind of been like, I or really good. So you want to try those? 
Could this be the first really bad one? Uh, it could be. There's potential. Tie rails. There's just three dudes holding a big ass pepper on it. So. <laughs> Beautiful. Love that. Tie rails, sweet chili, and red pepper. And cooked English crisp. I'm excited. Me too. I think I like kettle cooked chips the best. They, they low key are superior. It's smell test. Does it smell spicy? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Ooh, that's not bad. No. What is it? Red chi sweet chili and red pepper. There we go. Tie rails. Dude. Dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tie rail knows what he's doing. He does. That's funny because that's our cousin's name. I'm just offended he didn't tell me he started making chips. Sure. And that they're this good. Right? 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Straight 10. Like, we were expecting this to be the bad one of the group. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Tyrell. rail. Bro. Those are so good. I mean, I'm going to have to take these away from you. Mm-mm. All right. <laughs> that right there. That's my that's my favorite crisp from the UK now. Better than the Chili Heat Wave Doritos in Ireland. That right there. Those are the best. You know what? Those are the best British crisp I've ever had. I second that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not far ahead of the Chili Heat Wave, mm -hmm. but it's ahead of them. I think the Kettle Cook does it. Mm -hmm. The Kettle Cook puts them above. Oh my goodness. This bag is going to be gone. Gosh, those are so they, good. Like, I can't stop. All right, put them up. Put them up. Oh my goodness. We were just saying that was going to be the worst one. Mm -hmm. I forgot. We're still trying to spot a dick. Oh yeah, that's the worst one. Yeah. But you got to have an open mind, woman. We ain't tried it yet. All right, Revels. I think it's just milk chocolate drops. But I don't think so. Coffee, raisin, orange, chocolate. Huh? Coffee, raisin, orange, chocolate, toffee, Maltesers. So they're just a bunch of randomness? It's like they're revealing. Reveals. Oh, okay. Some reveals. I literally just thought these were like milk chocolate drops. That makes more sense. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Reveals. I'm going to find a raisin. Ooh. Chocolate covered raisins are one of my favorites. You're going for the raisin? Oh, yeah. Well, you can't tell, so. Dang it. Good luck. All right, here we go. I'm scared. Reveal yourself. So is that the Maltesers? What we just ate? I think so. I want to bust them open. Find a different one. These are good, but like, if I get a bag of candy, I want it all to be like the same. I want to know what I'm about to eat, you know? <laughs> like, if I want a bag of chocolate covered toffee, I just get that. Mm -hmm. Or a bag of chocolate or of like Malta Sears. Are they different sizes? They're different sizes. Oh. So. Okay. See, I just thought they were all the same thing. They're different sizes. This one's raisin. Raisin? Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Reveals? Revels? Whatever. What they are, they're good. I just thought I want to get them. I want, if I want a specific thing, I get a specific thing, you know? I'm gonna give that like a three. A three? I was gonna go like four. They taste good, the ones that we tried, mm -hmm. but here we go. The finale from Asda, two spotted dicks. We gotta have an open mind, okay? Apparently these are really good. A lot of people think these are really good. Mm, I don't know about it. Can I read the instructions on the back? Case? Yeah, read that. Heat each pudding individually, remove seal, ensuring all film is removed. Place the pudding upside down on a small microwavable plate and heat on full power. Remove from the microwave gently and lift the pot away immediately. Caution, pot and contents will be very hot. Let's stand for a minute before consuming. So right, yeah. let's grab a plate, I reckon. Yep. Let's make some spotted dick. I'm scared. <laughs> so 40 seconds on the 700 watt. Here we go. Gosh. Spotted duke. They don't look terrible. Ooh, okay. Uh. Um, uh. <laughs> oh. What's it smell like? Ooh, hold on now. All right. It smells good. And you know, our smell test, it's a big thing for us. Just like that right there. Now throw her in there. I'm confident. I really am. 40 seconds. Spotted dick is in the microwave. I report. I having gloves. <laughs> I'm, I'm confident. I did it. I thought it was going to smell bad, but it smells pretty good. I think it's just the name. That's what I think. Jesus. Hey. I think it's just the name. Like, you get past the name, I think it's going to be good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. Two, one. It was the fastest 40 seconds yeah, it was. of my life. Spotted dick's ready. Pop her out. How the plate is it? You smell it? No. That's it? That's it? Where's the cream sauce? I think we messed up. Where's the cream sauce? I don't know. Is it... No, there's two spotted dicks. Did I do the one without the cream sauce? Crammed with currants. Is it inside it? I'm confused. 
I am also confused. I thought there was going to be like current at the bottom of it. I don't know. Huh? We do have custard. We do. We, we could do put some on there. Let's let's cut it open first. That is an awfully big knife for that. Hey, I don't mess around with my spotted dick now. No. Okay. That don't look terrible though. Look at it. Where's the cream? I don't know. But you smell that? Yeah, I do now. Ooh, okay. I guess we gotta get it. I'm glad Lauren sent us a, a whole carton of Devon custard. Creamy and delicious. So we'll just add some to it. I I could have swore it was on there. Like it was in the packet. What the heck? It may have fell out somewhere. Like there was a little packet or something? Yeah. I remember there being a packet. Was there? I remember. Y'all let us know, does it come with a packet of- I could have swore it came with a packet. I think it's supposed to be in there, I really do. Y'all have to let us know though. It's a good thing we just have some extra. All right, so we need to microwave this too. You don't have to, it says on the container, enjoy hot or cold. I want it hot. Our spotted dick's hot, gotta make our custard hot. It's nice, hot and creamy. Okay. I've had s enough of this today. <laughs> Grab a bowl. I think that's plenty. Okay. All right, let's just heat this up for a few seconds. It's probably not gonna take long at all. I'm telling you, it smells pretty good. Kind of smells like uh, raisin bread. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go, custard's ready. Trying to be fancy with it, but it didn't work. There we go. Our first spotted dick. Grab some forks, woman. Let's do it. I don't know why I still have this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We couldn't find forks, so we have spotted, spoons. spotted dick with some custard. I could have swore custard came with this. I think it did. I just don't know what happened. We lost packet. the packet or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. All right, get up in there. Get some raisin in there and everything. Like, okay. Think you're gonna like it. Really? <laughs> Cheers. Your spotted dick touched my spotted dick. Okay. Here we go. Do you like it? That's really good. It is. Raisins and all. I did not expect this. Especially for a little microwaved, like, you know. Dude, spotted dick is good. Mm-hmm. Like actually really good. Like a cinnamon raisin bread. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm surprised. You just have to get past the name. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. For Americans wanting to try this, you just get past the name and you're actually really gonna enjoy it. You know what I'm not a big fan of? Custard apparently. You don't like the custard? Uh -uh. I thought that was pretty good. It's not like our like icings that we would usually get. Mm -hmm. There's like, not, it's not as sweet, not a lot. There's probably a lot less sugar in this. I mean, it's good. It is pretty good. I'm gonna go like eight out of 10. Me too. Eight out of 10? I mean, that's a really, really good rating. For something we expected to be absolutely terrible and like unedible, eight out of 10. Oh, good. Wow, I am surprised. Why the dick is good? Who would have knew? Who would have, who would have thunk it? But all right, guys, that is going to do it for today's taste test. We tried a lot of good stuff today. We did. Like What's literally, favorite? The, my favorite? <clears throat> yeah, same. The 10 out of 10? Same. Come on now. <laughs> These Tyrells row 10 out of 10. What I was mean, your least favorite? My least favorite, probably the Re reveals. Mine would prop. Yeah, same. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're okay, you well, know. Well, no, I take that back. The little uh, fun dip. The things. fun dips. The sherbet. Yeah. Things. That's really good. That was. That was that. We actually tried a lot of really good stuff. We did. But that's going to do it for today's taste test and video. If y'all want to see us do more of these, taste test more British foods. If y'all want to see us try to make some stuff, I, I really do think I want to try toad in the hole. We got spotted dick out of the way. Might as well move on to the other one with a weird name, toad in the hole. So. She don't, she don't even know. So yeah. y'all, if y'all want to see us try to make that and try toting the hole, let us know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go out today. Spread the love, spread kindness, do something like somebody. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT. And Anna. And we out. What is toad in the hole? Toad, toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. I'm struggling. Toad in the hole. I said it too fast. It's going to be good, I think. What is it? We'll have to find out. Oh, Y'all hit that like button. Tree in the hole and hole in the ground. Been down in the valley. <laughs> huh?